Story time when a client broke a nail. Later that night after she got them done. Client, hey, one of my nails just me? broke. Oh no girl. How? That has never happened to me before with anybody else. You were just here today. Client, I was cleaning. And when I got done I looked at my hand and noticed me? I had a broken nail. I don't think nail. that's possible love. Unless you banged it really hard. Client, can you just fix all my nails for free since I already have And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, when I walked into your room, I felt like heaviness. Like there's a very dark, dark presence specifically in your bedroom. I felt it like I almost felt like the air like left my chest. Like when I walked in that that's the feeling I got. And I was like, it's, it's bad. So she goes, oh, I thought it was gone. And then she starts to tell me, she said, am I the asshole? I insulted my wife in front of my family. I and my wife have been married for eight years. She told me she wants to be a stay at home mom when we got married because she didn't like her job that much. I was okay with that. My mom had to drop out of school because she lost her parents at a young age and she had to do manual labor to send her siblings to school. She had the choice to either go to school herself or send her siblings to school. And because of this, she dropped out in eighth grade as a 14 year old. Both her siblings got employed in really good companies and they took care of her since then until she got married. My dad passed away just two years after their marriage and she had story time client from hell hi my appointment is coming up and i wanted to know if you can fit in my two sisters me hey girl unfortunately i have appointments after you i don't understand why you are being horrible just please fit in me sorry but they've been booked for a month i can't cancel on them okay well i hope you know you're being distasteful and rude i will me? be at the okay Her appointment day comes up hello we're on the way Confirming you said yes to all three of us today, right? Me? Hey, actually, no. Please scroll up and read our past conversation. I let you know I won't have space today. Your Sorry. attitude is disgusting. You said yes, and you're wasting our time. This is the worst customer Me. service. I let you know that I wasn't able to, and you went ahead and decided to bring them. Sorry, but I can't do anything. We are outside. Please open. My sister thinks she pulls more guys to me because she's naturally pretty and doesn't need to wear that much makeup. She's a cancer, by the way. Every single time we ever went out, she always had to let me know, oh, I'll be ready in about 10 minutes. You know I don't wear that much makeup. And she would come out with her little lip gloss and dewy highlighter and mascara on and call it a day while I took at least an hour because I like to beat my face. So one night we were out at this bar and I saw this really cute guy and I was like, oh, watch. I hope he comes up to me. She's like, yeah, he might if he doesn't notice me first. Just kidding, just kidding. So he walks up to both of us and says, hi, how are you guys doing? We're like, fine. And then he looks at me and asks me for my number. She's like, wait a minute, you're interested in her? He's like, yeah, I love her makeup. She looks really great tonight. You both look great, but I was interested in her. And she goes, but I'm the naturally pretty one. I don't even have to put that much effort in to look as gorgeous. You think she's so pretty? Look at everything she has on her face. You can't even tell what she actually looks like. He's like, wait, are you guys friends? And I'm like, no, we're sisters. And then body slam. Here's a story time of how me and my sisters almost got kidnapped. So my mom and her boyfriend were just going to go out and have a night to themselves. And I was home watching my two little sisters. At the time, I was 13. My two little sisters were 9 and 6. So around 6 p.m., my mom and her boyfriend leave. Me and my sisters just sit down and watch a movie, and then I get up to make them dinner. I get paranoid really easily, and while I was making them dinner, I look out the kitchen window, and I thought I seen somebody in the backyard. I text my mom and she gets on the cameras that are outside and she said nobody was out there. I continue making them dinner, we sit down and eat, and then we start watching another movie. Then we start hearing knocking. It wasn't coming from any of the doors, it was coming from the side of the house. I didn't want to bother my mom on her one night out, so I just took the kids and we went upstairs and watched a movie in my room. My six-year-old sister at the time went to the bathroom and she came back in literal tears. She was literally crying so hard until I finally got her to stop and tell me what was wrong. She said as she was walking back from the bathroom, she seen somebody downstairs. I quietly locked my door and I put my sisters in the closet and I called my mom right away. I'm running out of time, like for part So this morning after school, I decided to ask my mom if I could have a sleepover at my friend's house. For reasons I will not be calling her her real name, I'll call her Tracy instead. So after hours of begging and begging, she finally let me go. It was on a Thursday night and everything was perfectly fine. We watched movies, we listened to music all day. But then when it was time for me and her to go to bed, she seemed really off. She started getting really nervous all of a sudden. So I was like, hey, what's wrong? And she was like, I don't feel comfortable sleeping in my house. So because she trusted me, she ended up telling me why. She then said, so I see this dark figure in my room every night and it kind of looks like my dad. 
bad. I always hear him groaning and I could see that he's looking at me. She then told me that she thought she was probably just paranoid considering the fact that her dad came home late and as soon as he got home, he wanted to just get some rest. So he would just go to bed or lay down. She then told me that this had been going on for months and she always tries to get up to go up to the figure. But it disappeared every time she turned around for a second or even blinked. So now I have insomnia. So I told her, hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. You can go to bed. I'm going to stay up and keep a lookout. The night rolled in really fast and I ended up falling asleep for a little bit. And I woke up to hearing my friend crying in the corner. She then tells me that she can sense him. So she kept her eyes closed because I told her to. Am I the asshole for refusing to give my daughter her room back? I'm a father of two, Natalie, age 24, and Jonathan, age 17. Jonathan had mobility issues throughout his childhood, and it got worse as he grew up. He became a full-time wheelchair user two years ago after he had a serious accident that left him in worse state than he was before. Natalie moved off for college at the age of 18 and then moved in with her now ex-boyfriend. Now, I need to mention that because Natalie is my oldest, she had the bigger room in the house. Jonathan had the smaller room, which was fine by him, but now it's different. With the major changes in his life and needing a wheelchair to move around, I have considered to move him into Natalie's old room that she hasn't used in years. I first call her to let her know, and she gave me the green light to go ahead and do what's best for her brother and make his life easier. I renovated it and added things in it to accommodate Jonathan's needs, and it cost money. Remember, this was almost two years ago. A few days ago, Natalie called saying she had a huge fight with her now ex-boyfriend after she caught him with someone and was staying at a hotel. Story time about why I beat up my best friend. So a little background information. Her and I had been best friends since we were in seventh grade. Her family was rich, mine was poor, and at first she was a really good friend. She was always there for me whenever I needed her. Until our freshman year of high school, which is when her and I started hanging out with boys. Now my mom was kind of strict. She wouldn't really let me hang out with boys. But her mom was more lenient about her hanging out with boys. Every weekend she would throw a party at her house. And she would throw them in her attic because one, it was huge, and two, her parents didn't give a fuck what she did up there. Anyways, she would always offer to do my hair and makeup before the party started. Which always made me really excited because I never really put any work into my physical appearance. Well, little did I know, the only reason why she would offer to do my hair and makeup at these parties was so that way she could make me look like shit in front of all the boys. So after that, I taught myself how to do my own makeup and do my own hair. Like for part two. Guys, I'm gonna tell you a story time voice over. So I remember one time I was doing a client, right? And that very client made me think that I wasn't good enough and that I couldn't do nails. Like the lady did everything in her way to let me do it myself because I was contemplating whether I could do nails or not. Because the lady said she wanted short square nails and I cutted the nails right down to her fingertip. And then she said the nails was lean. Then she said she wanted to be scoval. Remember, she said she wanted square now. And guys, I was just sitting there and was wondering, could I do nails? But then guys, whenever make she stop my progress and look at me now. Look at me. And this is my two-year journey, guys. Yeah. Snow Nail Clinic has been doing nails for two years now. So this is the growth. I um, remember. Am I the asshole? Husband threw a barbecue party for his friends. I refused to help. Party was a disaster. <laughs> so my husband likes to invite his friends. Note, his friends. And I am not close with them. For barbecue parties. He prides himself on his barbecue skills. The thing is... I always end up doing everything. Mm. He buys and preps the meat and then grills and serves it and collects praise for all of his BBQ skills. I have to buy drinks, get out enough dishes, clean up the patio slash deck. I prepare the sides and veggies. I refill the drinks and I take away dishes. We don't use paper plates or plastic cups since I find it wasteful. So as to keep the main table tidy, it's just nonstop work for me. He just told me last week that he invited his friends for Saturday, so yesterday, just announced it. Didn't ask me. I said, well, okay. Do I know anyone? Nope. Those are his workmates, and they won't be bringing their spouses. My husband called it a guy's night. I said, okay, then, guy's night. Well, enjoy yourselves. I'll be in my craft room. My first client of the day, and everything was going fine. It was at this point that I realized my drill stopped working. But F C K and I gotta do what I gotta do. I just have to make sure my acrylic application is perfect. That's how you do it, shit, like.
Like wow they came out so flawless! Alright y'all, so I'm about to show y'all the update on my nails. So I told y'all I started with the thumb because I put regular nail polish on, right? And I was like, I got to get back to these orders and they're not dry yet. So let me put a little top coat on it. Now, back in the day, a gel top coat used to do me dirty on top of um, regular nail polish. And as you can see, I put a little bling up there because I'm testing a product to see. And it's pretty durable too. But anyways, back to the story. Don't mind my cuticles. Do not talk junk. I know I need my nippers and I know I need my JLR cuticle enhancement oil. So look. I wish I would have capped off the ends with the gel polish, basically just putting the gel polish at the end, just to see if it would um, eliminate this wrinkled look. And I guess I got a little stain here because I've been working hard. And now let me show you this hand. Baby, this is my dominant hand and she really going through. So I had some gel seep onto the skin, right? And I thought I was doing something, trying to lift it up. Mm -mm, baby, if you get into... You know what? I'm going to show you a close-up when I was in the doctor's office. It's going to really show you what I'm talking about. So if you look closely at the index and the middle finger, you can tell that the gel top coat is starting to separate from the actual polish. Baby, I would do this for one day and one day only. Will I ever do this again? Yes, because I love temporary shit. <laughs> I love temporary stuff. So yes, I will be doing this again because why not? I literally could just do this for a day and all I gotta do to remove it is just etch the top coat off with my file and get my, um, I'm about to say my permanent marker, Lord. Get my pure acetone and rub this nail polish off, baby. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do this again. <laughs> but see, for me, I like doing my press-ons primarily on the weekends or for events but just some regular nail polish for a couple days throughout the week just because i want to see my nails look a little pretty for a second that works for me honey hey y'all it's me brie my client came in today for a mini valentine freestyle i have two versions of freestyle one is a mini one and one is a breeze one a mini one doesn't um come with all the extra stuff like a whole bunch of gems not a lot of line work very simple but still cute freestyle but my breeze freestyle is my freestyle like it's the way i wear my nails with the way i would want to wear my nails and you basically get anything i could fit on your nails with the breeze freestyle i can show y'all one next on my next post but um all my freestyles is off the top of my head unless i already have something in mind i want to do on this finger i was doing a um, encapsulated ombre you're going to see it probably at the end but um while i was doing her nails do you know what my client said to me she said do you mind adding some green with this i was like um no i really looked at her like she stole my lunch money because huh because first of all it is a freestyle and second of all i already started laying the acrylic cyst. i would have definitely bodied a green valentine's day set but it's a little too late for that and i told her to sit back and trust the process they still gonna be cute and that's what she did so i'm just sealing her cuticles right now and getting them ready for me to paint them and design them i decided to do some two french fingers and a a finger that i draw some art on so this one is the french tip one and the next one you'll probably see is me drawing kisses on her middle finger because what's valentine's day without some kisses and the next finger will begin some rough print croc. You're gonna see me pour some acrylic on it to get that desired texture I want. Right there. Dang, right there. Yeah, right there. And you'll see the results at the end. She ended up loving them. If you haven't already, follow my Instagram.